Q103 hotline. Yeah, Flounder there, please. This is Flounder. Tyler from Theory. Hey, Tyler. How you doing, man? Doing all right. Sounds good, man. Uh, you got, got shows tonight, it looks like. I saw you guys have a busy tour schedule going on right now. Dude, we're booked into March. It's a good good problem to have. Yeah, very good problem to have, right? We get to see you uh, this Sunday at the Upstate Concert Hall. We Are Harlot and Aranda are going to be there. How has it uh, been touring around with We Are Harlot? Those guys are kind of party animals. Uh, yeah, they're such great guys. Uh, I think the other day they went out and were having like Bloody Marys at like 10 in the morning or something with Dave, our guitar player. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> but they're, uh, they're good guys. Yeah, it's fun. We're looking forward to seeing you all these all you guys on uh, Sunday here. Uh, let's talk a little about Theory of a Dead Man, though. You guys got Savages, the album out right now. Uh, we've been playing Drown and Angel and Blow. Uh, and I, I wanted to ask you about this uh, the tour that you're on right now, which is the uh, Theory of a Dead Man Blows tour. Uh, how important is a uh, tour name? I, I don't know. I mean, the reason we named it that is just I think it was uh, something funny. Because, yeah. you know, usually it's like... Tour fall tour 2015. I mean, they're all just so lame. It's uh, you know, uh, Molly Crew always comes up with the Woody Woody names for their tours. So I can't remember what their name their tour name is called now, but it's it's pretty good. But you know, I don't know. So I thought uh, actually the guy who worked at our label thought of this name in this tour that we just were like, let's go for it. I we're like it. it blows. I think I think it's a funny name, and it's it's kind of a funny thing to kind of draw attention to and remember with it. Uh, I want to talk to you about the song "Blow" on your album, which you, we did just start playing. Uh, it sounds a lot different to me than a lot of other Theory of a Dead Man t- uh, songs, and it's also very, very like pop culture related. Tell me a little bit about your uh, your anger at pop culture. Yeah, well, I mean, we all are, right? Yeah, we're all we all watch TV and are sick and tired of so many things. And I think. Uh, it was time for me to be the grumpy old man and just rip on some stuff. Uh, and, you know, there's so many people that love that about the song. They just hear it and they're like, man, this is so funny because I think the exact same thing about Kanye or the Kardashians or the fact that, you know, reality stars are now, you know, you know you're, people become more famous now if they're on a, a reality show than anything else. You were, you were definitely speaking to my inner old grumpy man on that entire song right there. <laughs> Uh, what do you What do you prefer? Yeah. I, I saw you wrote. Uh, you had a, a picture up on your social social media the other day talking about how like you you long for the days of the '90s and you always think it was like just a few years ago. Do you like a pre internet world or a post internet world better? Oh, post internet post internet is way better. I mean, man, the, the porn back you know <laughs> the dial up dial up porn was just it, it just sucked. I mean, I remember having a. VHS tapes of some movie, nine and a half weeks, and you just literally have to try to freeze frame it. Yep. <laughs> you know, make sure that make sure the tracking wasn't over top of like an underwear shot. It's terrible. And nowadays, it's just amazing. I love all that. It, it is so much better now. Uh, so, also on Savages, uh, the the title track on there, Savages. You got to work with Alice Cooper. Tell me a little about about working with Alice Cooper. How awesome is that? Uh, it was badass, man. It was awesome. He. Uh, we sent him the track, and he loved the song, and was like, "Yeah, well, I want to do my thing on it." He, you know, we really wanted to get someone with a with a, a voice that everyone could recognize, something that was theatrical, not just uh, you know anybody that could be anybody uh, kind of doing the spoken word on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, he done he's done that before. You know, we thought about someone like Lemmy, but yeah. then of course, you know, Lemmy, you wouldn't be able to understand a word he was saying. <laughs> he'd be like, ugh, ugh, ugh. so. Uh, our producer shot, shot out the name Alice Cooper, uh, and we're like, dude, Alice Cooper, that would be amazing. So we thought it would be a long shot, and he, he, he came back and said he'd love to do it. And so I, uh, I flew down to his house in Phoenix, and, and, and he recorded it. It was awesome. So you did, you did get to, to do it in person with him. Did you by any chance have to do like a Wayne's World, I'm not worthy moment with him? I should have. <laughs> uh, I didn't even think about it at the time, but that would have been amazing. That would have be been a great thing that. to redo. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So, so uh, I got to ask you. Uh, I guess it's a kind of silly, timely question, though. Uh, and it looks like you guys are actually going to be playing on Halloween this year. Uh, what are you guys dressing up as for Halloween? I need ideas. Oh man, I don't know. You know, we uh, we always do a Halloween show. Last year we were in, uh, uh, I think we were somewhere in England. I can't remember what city in England, but uh, we dressed up, and I dressed up as Elvis, which I've done before. Nice. Uh, but um, I don't know this year. I thought about dressing up as an animal, dressing up as a human. 
<laughs> well, that'd be kind of. <laughs> yeah, that's not. That's not that'd bad. Kind of, I like yeah, that. Yeah, because you know everyone dresses up their pets as as a human, so maybe I don't know. I, I can't. I haven't thought of something, but you know, I might just be slutty. Something it could be slutty. <laughs> maybe something female. So. I want slutty a, construction worker or something. Oh, can you can you do a slutty construction worker? You might actually that might be the first time anyone's ever gone there. Yeah, well, I'm sure they sell the costumes for four hundred dollars <laughs> on day of, where everyone's running around trying to get the last minute picks, and all that's left is like slutty construction worker for four hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Just go buy a tool belt, and you've got an entire outfit right there. Yeah, well, that's what it comes with. It comes with a plastic tool belt, and then the guy. It's just the, Photo is the guy holding a stop sign, but it doesn't come with a stop sign. It's just a plastic tool belt. Oh, you got to go get your own sign. They never give you all the good stuff. No. <laughs> all right. Uh, Tyler, I, I can't wait to see you this weekend. I believe we're going to be doing an eat and greet with you on Sunday as well. So we'll get to talk some more and uh, eat some food over at the Upstate Concert Hall. You're there on this Sunday, October 25th. We are Harlot and Aranda as well. Yeah, it's going to be great. Uh, we've been touring with these guys for about two weeks now. So it's a great show, and we're really excited. We're putting a couple new tracks uh, that we haven't played in a long time in the set, which is, uh, we're just loving uh, this tour. It's been great, and the, the crowds have been great. So uh, we're excited to come there on Sunday, man. Well, we're going we're gonna to try to continue the streak going on this Sunday, man. Can't wait to see you. Tyler Connolly of Theory of a Dead Man. We get to see you this Sunday. And if you haven't picked up Savages yet, what are you waiting for? Go get the thing. Thanks, man.